This video was made possible by EE Creator Network. Special thanks for inviting me to this opportunity. Let me guess, you saw the race, could it be prouder, and everyone in the office wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> well, that saved me a few minutes. Guess I'll speak to you later then. <laughs> How are you, Mum? Oh, I couldn't be prouder, Cal. That was one hell of a race. Everyone in the office wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Honestly, the way you're driving, I think we're going to have to change your name. What's here this time? Callie Winner. You've got this in the bag, Cal. Oh, okay. That That is the kind of award-winning journalism that we really do need right now, but one race at a time, okay? <laughs> That sounds like Casper talking. Is he looking after you? Yeah, yeah, always. Uh, actually, I've got a meeting with him that I'm running a bit late for, so I've got a dash, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, sweetheart. Call me tonight and well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey boss, got another one for you. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes? Okay, mate, I need you to push before the pit window opens. Push, push. On it. Top 10 now, keep it up. Another pit stop here at Suzuka. This time it's Aidan Jackson coming in. 
He's been making steady progress today, and Connor Sport need him to. They desperately need some results, and they could do without this. And look, there's chaos in that garage. Absolutely, only three wheels on the car at the moment, Crofty. Aiden Jackson looks on in despair. Here comes that spare wheel now. That's a long, long time to wait. Just sat in the cockpit. What is going on down at Connor Sport? Well, the tyre is finally out of the garage and on the car, and Aidan Jackson's back out in the race, but it's a long time in the pit, and that will cost them dearly. What was that? How many places did I lose? OK, try not to worry about that, Aidan. Just focus on the race, get your head down, and let's pull it back. Uh, I'm sick of this! Okay, good work. Great pass. OK, this is Mark. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the stewards are going to give you a penalty. Just five laps of fuel remaining.
Okay, gap ahead is 3.3 seconds. Okay, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. Okay, information on sites. They've got some kind of mechanical problem. behind is 2.0 seconds. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Our gap to the car in front is 1.6 seconds. Okay, clear. Okay, final lap, let's go, final lap.
Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. Well, it's still too close to call at the top of the table. Meanwhile, at the other end, Ant, you can really understand Aidan Jackson's frustrations today. Yeah, they've had car problems all season long, Crofty. They've had a bad mix-up in the garage today. Connor Sport won't be proud of that one. And Connor Sport won't be proud of that. It's the longest pit stop we've had this season. Not the sort of record any team wants to set. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Well, Aidan, I'm sure you already know what I'm going to ask. That pit stop looked like a nightmare. So what on earth happened today? <clears throat> uh, I guess the truth is, Natalie, the only thing I can focus on is my driving. There was clearly a problem out there today, and I'm sure we'll find out what happened. Next question. Well, there is a lot of talk on social media about whether Devon is actually getting preferential treatment by the team. So, do you think, is there any truth to that? Or is it an unfair assumption? I couldn't possibly comment about that. I'll let everyone draw their own conclusions. Well, Aidan, the list seems to get longer. Car reliability, you and Devon bumping wheels, and now issues in the pit lane. Huge mounting problems at Connor Sport. Has there been any talk at all about what the team might do next season, considering that you and Devon just don't seem to get along? If I'm being honest, um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't open to any offers next season. That's just business. So who knows what will happen next year? And finally, I've got to ask you about this. Rumours have recently emerged that you'll be playing a role in the next Throttle Zone film. Can you comment on this? <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited for it, and I can't wait to see what I'm going to be doing. They, they approached me um, for a part, and it sounds so, so fun. I can't wait for to start this opportunity. Thank you so much for your time. Talk to me. About what? You saw the race, right? What is there to say? Thought you could do with blowing off a little steam. <laughs> what is even the point in wasting any more energy? If it's not the car, it's the team. If it's not the team, it's the car. No one seems to care how much effort I'm putting into all of this. Which is why you need to double down. Listen, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but the top three are talking, Aiden. 
What? What? They've already reached out to us. Looks like there might be some last-minute negotiations on the cards, but... Keep that to yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. No doubt there'll be some wrangling. You're contracted for another season, but your, um... Tenacity has been noticed. Wow, uh... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. You're not supposed to know. I hate to admit it, but Connor Sport can't keep up with you, Aiden. Just do me a favor, would you? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. What is it? I need you to push as hard as you can to get as much out of you before I lose you to a better team. Can you do that for me? Of course. No problem. Good boy. You know I'm here whenever you need me. Speak soon. You saw it, right? The pit stop? How am I supposed to deal with that? I know. I want a chance to prove what I can do, though. In a top-tier seat. I deserve it. I've heard there might be interest. I just... I can't stay here. Okay. Well, what would you do? So, what advice did you give him? Well, I told him to try to stay calm, see out the season, and then go to the final team meeting. See if that changed his mind. And where were you at this point? Oh, I was uh, busy getting Cali ready for the final race of the F2 season. The final race of the season now well underway here in Abu Dhabi. A few different drivers in contention for the F2 Championship. But here's the favourite, Kali Mayer. She's been so consistent this season, so fast. My money's on Mayer for the Championship, no question. If she can finish high enough, the title belongs to her. Come on, a podium should clinch this for us. Then podium it is.
your final lap, final lap of the race. Congratulations! Kali Mayer, get used to the name. She has her whole career ahead of her, and this is just the beginning. She's done it, as many predicted she would. A star is born. Kali Mayer becomes the first woman ever to win the F2 Championship. Historic. <laughs> well, I mean, someone had to be the first. But I just hope that this shows that talent can get you as far as money. And what about your dad? Has he called to congratulate you yet, Kelly? Nope. Next question. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, what's it like being a woman in motorsports? We're sure everyone wants to know. <sighs> I don't know, John. What's it like being a man in journalism? <laughs> Next question. Hot-headed, <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. But you know, that's, that's kind of what you need in a driver. Let's not forget that Cali taking the championship was a big deal. You know, for, well, for the sport, but really for everyone. And for you, how did you feel? It was one of the proudest moments of my career. It was the first time I mentored anyone, yeah. I was a little sad to be moving on. So, had you already told Kelly about your new job? Yes, yes, of course. And I told her, you know, how I wished that I could take her with me. But she understood. And Aidan, had you told him? No. No, he was, um, he was too busy. Busy? Yeah, preparing to tell the team that he was leaving Connorsport. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. I know Aiden had something he wanted to say, but first, I have a matter I would like to address formally. It is no secret that I have been spread a little thin <laughs> this season. I mean, I own the team, I run the team, it's, it's a lot, okay? Which is why I will be stepping away from the principal role next season. I'll still be pushing Connor Sport Racing to be the brand we know it can be whilst the new principal will be laser-focused on performance and results. And we have already found a man to step into that role. Kasper. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Now, this is a big step up for me. I'm really looking forward to see what next season brings. It's truly an honor to be on board. 
I am sorry for the dramatic nature of the announcement, okay? Humor the man who pays you. <laughs> we all look forward to working with Casper, yes? Good. Then let us continue. Aiden, you had something you wanted to say? The floor is yours. Uh, no, it's, it's nothing. I just wanted to say, <clears throat> um, thank you, everybody, for all your hard work this year. And I'm really looking forward to next season, especially with Casper at the helm. Did Casper being around affect you going into the 23 season? I have bigger things going on than Casper. Do you have any regrets about 2023? Anything you'd have done differently? No. No, I'm in a good place now. Besides, what's to uh, regret about being the story of the season? <laughs>